Hello, hello again to another Aga Color Reacts. Today we're watching um, top 10 rules the Kardashians are forced to follow from Mrs. Mojo. And um, I don't think I ever watched the full episode of Kardashians. Maybe I did in the beginning. I can't remember. Like uh, in the beginning when they actually start doing keeping up with Kardashians in 2000s. So let's just see what kind of crazy rules they have to follow. Uh, there you go. So what's been going on? Just trying to keep up with everything. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 crazy keeping up with the Kardashians filming rules. But after I saw the reaction and I and I read what people had to say about it, I most definitely saw what was what went wrong. For this list, we're looking at all of those strange rules that the cast and crew must reportedly follow when filming the hit reality show. If you were as surprised by some of these filming do's and don'ts as we were, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Crew members have to wear shoe protectors in Chris's house. I was just going to look on the footage. I had cameras set up just to kind of monitor what was going on and if anybody was messing with my food. Anyone who's watched the series knows that Chris's house is immaculate. And now we know part of the reason why it stays that way. Obviously, the production crew has to spend a lot of time at the matriarch's house, since that is where we have seen so much of the drama unfold over the years. We just wanted to tell you in person that we won't be going forward with filming the show anymore. But we were surprised to hear about what they have to do to keep the house looking spick and span. The people behind the camera have to wear surgical foot coverings in the house while filming. And while this might not be ideal for them to do their jobs, Chris clearly prides herself on a clean house. So we can't totally blame her for this demand. And this is my home base. I feel good here. Number nine, Chris has her hair and makeup done every day. What are you doing here? I just got out of the shower. Perfect. Having your life filmed nearly all day every day is pretty daunting to say the least. And that's why Chris wants to make sure she is looking her best at all times. At least during all the times they're shooting for keeping up with the Kardashians anyway. Who knew that her love of makeup would take her this far? She has a team of people that help give her a glam look so that she is always camera ready. And we can't say that we're too taken aback by this. She's always looking fabulous, and while that is clearly a hassle, not to mention pricey, we can't say we would do anything differently if so much of our lives were on display on television. Are you ready for a snatch beat stamp painted face by Patrick Star? I think so. Number eight, they stopped filming the real exteriors of their homes. As the Kardashians have gotten more and more popular through the years, their need for privacy has increased. They used to show the real exteriors of their houses on the show, but around the mid-2010s, they felt that was no longer safe. So are we going outside? People had been able to find out where their homes were and would sometimes disturb them so much that police had to get involved. This left the women feeling like their lives were even more invaded than normal, and they were scared in their homes. That's why they amped up security and started showing fake establishing shots on the show. Rain! Don't worry though, the interior shots of their houses are the real deal. Number seven, they film 10 to 12 hours a day. I don't know, maybe I should do something kind of like a calendar, like just for him. While it does seem like the filming crew never misses a second of the dramatic moments in the Kardashian-Jenner clan, we were still shocked to learn how many hours a day they spend under the lenses of the cameras. Chloe is gonna kill me. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah. Look what I can do. Considering cameras are rolling for 10 to 12 hours of any given shoot day, we that's can't imagine good. how much work has to go into sifting through all of the footage that's captured. Editing and piecing together everything that goes into the final product must be a completely exhausting task, not only for the crew, but for all of the cast members that need to be camera ready for almost the entire day. Your sister's going to jail, have a little compassion. Kim, would you stop taking pictures of yourself? Your sister's going to jail. Number six, shooting on iPhones. When the pandemic hit in early 2020, we all had to pivot. And the Kardashians were no exception. The cast and crew had to take extreme measures to ensure the show was being made safely. 
and some of those measures included the production team sending the family members iPhones for them to shoot their own footage, including their confessionals. We're self-shooting everything, we're documenting it so that we can have this for you guys. This was not the only time they had to use iPhones, though. Sometimes when a big moment is being captured, all of the little ones that might be missed at that time are being captured on the cast members' phones and can be added on to the episodes. And I'm about to see Scott for the first time because we are dying to just have human interaction and excited to go on a walk. So we are gonna stay six feet apart from each other. Number five. Chris can hire whoever she wants to be on the show. Like my world got destroyed while Jordan is doing press interviews about it? It is no secret that our favorite momager has a lot of power over what happens on the show. But we were still surprised to hear that Chris has enough say to have whoever she wants on the show and will sometimes even pay out of pocket to make it happen. This occurred when French Montana was dating Chloe, and her mom allegedly paid a pretty penny to have him on the series during their time together. Uh, Frenchie, you guys, going, this ladies? is perfect. How are you? This is amazing. Normally, a show has a budget set up for a certain cast. So when one member joins, another may have to leave to keep everything fair financially. But when you have money like the Kardashians, it seems you can break the norm pretty easily. And we will always love you and rock with you and do whatever. You don't have to tell me twice. Number four, the crew has to be there 24 seven. Even if we don't say it, like I think of you guys as my second family. As you might've figured out by now, the crew is around a lot. In fact, they pretty much have to be around at least one of the cast members 24-7. Kim called me from Simone's phone like seconds later, screaming for help, like on the top of her lungs. The Kardashians can make demands for the crew to leave if they just want to be with their family members, though. Chris has even reportedly kicked the crew out completely, like when she needs privacy with Corey, for example. However, for the most part, they are pretty much always around. No wonder Chris has her hair and makeup done every shoot day. There's a chance she'll be on camera at pretty much any given moment. I have such a security blanket in these people. And, you know, to not have that anymore, it's a big thing. Number three, they have to be mic'd up all the time. In addition to having to film for most of the waking hours of the day, the Kardashians and Jenners are mic'd up pretty much the entire time, even when they're in the bathroom or out of the camera's view. Nobody knows anything about where we're going. Everyone just knows what to pack and to bring your passport. We understand that it's important for the production team not to miss anything that, that happens that in case something juicy ex -husband starts to unravel, the sisters? but the fact that they have essentially know, no happen. privacy is a bit alarming. Bro, that's pretty serious, isn't it? Wow. Is it for sure, for sure? I don't know, that's what I'm trying to find out. Oh. Courtney even said that at one time, she tried to cry as quietly as possible in the bathroom in order for the crew not to hear her. Number two, everyone has to be willing to fake or recreate scenes. You got anything to drink tonight? Yes. How much? About four drinks. Four drinks? Okay, do me a favor, step out of the car. Have you ever watched the show and thought something seemed a little off? That's because some of the most infamous moments were reshot or faked to get the scene perfect. For instance, when Chloe announced her pregnancy, it appears to have been recreated if one considers the timeline. Oh my God. Like there are two lines. Yeah, clear as day. I am pregnant. Another example of this is Chris Humphrey's proposal to Kim, which reportedly took more than one take because her reaction and the lighting weren't right the first time. <laughs> oh my God, yes. One of the elements that we thought we could expect from reality shows is that everything is real, hence the name it's of the show. It's a reality show, but everyone knows how much not real. Case, they have apparently taken some creative liberties to <clears throat> nail the most important scenes. Mm -hmm. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, everyone has to sign an NDA. Mom's obviously upset about it, so. I know, 
I, that really bothers me. But I have to be honest in the book on how my feelings are. The Kardashian-Jenner crew loves to share their most dramatic and sentimental moments on their show. So it's important that they keep everything under wraps until the episodes air. Because of this, everyone has to sign a non-disclosure agreement to be on the series. And apparently, Kris Jenner even keeps them at her front door for convenience. The relationship turmoil between Black China and Rob gave the audience a glimpse of the drama that could ensue when getting involved with the family. I'm the one who said arguments are normal. It's going to happen. Okay, but at that but I, second it happened, I took it seriously and I took it to heart. In addition to legal issues, the model and socialite was seemingly cautioned, or perhaps threatened, with the NDA she signed following an ABC News report that they had received a copy of the document. I was devastated, of course. I'm like, how could somebody like posts these pictures of me. This further cements the fact that Keeping Up With The Kardashians has got some very strict rules for its cast members. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Well, Mojo. I can't agree, and be can't sure disagree. To subscribe and like I said, I haven't really watched it, about our latest but it's videos. hard not to hear about them. So, yeah. Uh, it's hard not to hear about Kardashians and what's going on. So there's like a big thing about finishing up after all those years and all that and then a year later they're back guess what guys they're back i'm kind of curious sometimes about actually watching it but probably wouldn't i want to spend so much time i think i would just watch the expanse for six time anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye